Hello and welcome to Square Passion 01, Creating with Passion. Grab your paper and glue. Let's create something fabulous. Hi YouTube, um, I'm here to share with you guys two birthday cards I created for a customer. Um, this first card I'm going to share with you is rather different for me. It's a masculine card, or that's what it's supposed to be, a masculine card. I don't create a lot of masculine cards, so I had to scramble in my stash looking for papers that would go uh, for a masculine card. So this is what I came up with. The customer wanted something somewhat sexy, a birthday card for her boyfriend. So this is what I came up with. This is a very large card. It measures um, six and a half by eight. And um, I had to do it that size to accommodate the image that I have on the front of the card. This is a pre-colored um, Kenny K image that I decided to go with on the front of the card. For the sentiment, I just typed out, Happy Birthday, Boo. And then for this little cutout piece that acts as a mat for my sentiment, comes from um, this die set, the curved rectangles. Um, when I'm doing cards for customers, I like to keep my cards very neat and clean and simple um, because a lot of them are not crafters, so I keep that in mind when I'm creating. So here's the inside of the card, um, just included the sentiment. I hope all your birthday dreams and wishes come true. And let me share with you the um, stamp set that I use for that sentiment. This is my favorite stamp set. I use this so much. This is by Fiskars and this is called Birthday Cheer. And I picked this up from Tuesday morning a, a while ago. And I absolutely love it. It is a great, uh, you know, die set to have when you're doing birthday cards. And I absolutely love this. So that's what I decided to use. And here's the back of the card. Plain and simple. So this is the first card I created. And I hope I achieved a somewhat masculine feel um, to this card. Like I said, it's very different than what I, <laughs> I normally do. So that's the first card. Um, the second card is more on my style. Um, oh, let me share with you the papers that I use for that card. So I told you I didn't have a lot of dark tone, masculine type papers. So I really had to dig in my stash and I came up with this paper right here. This is by Graphic 45 2010, so it's fairly old. My camera will focus. And um, this is actually called Christmas Past Collection Holiday Spirit. So that's what I went with. And I actually received that paper free when I went to the scrapbook convention. So that really, really came in handy. So, okay, let me share with you the second card I created. Like I mentioned before, this is more so on my style. So, um... Let me share with you the card and then I'll share the die that I use. So this is the card and you guys know I love, love my gold. You almost can't see it. It's so gold out. So um, let me share with you the die um, set that I use for this card. So this is the die I decided to go with. This is called the Botanical Beauty. And this is from the Botanical Bliss Designer Series. And I use both of these stamps that comes in this stamp set. This is a Spellbinders. This was also my first time using this die. So I was super excited about that. The paper for the background of the card actually is from um, Anna Griffin. And it's called Rose Blue Ribbons. So I picked that up from Hobby Lobby. And also I use this Anna Griffin um, 
gold foil sentiment stickers and I absolutely love these these are so handy to have in your stash it covers all of the holidays thank yous uh, weddings just very very versatile and this is awesome to have when you need a quick sentiment to pop on a card and don't have a lot of time to do stamping etc so I actually ordered this from HSN so here's the card again and I, I apologize for the glares because of the gold foil uh, paper but you can see that sticker and then I just put a pink ribbon up here with a pearl there in the center and then um, on the outside you can see a little hint of pink uh, cardstock to act as a mat this card measures um, 5 by 7 and here's the inside I use the same uh, birthday stamp set for the inside and here's the back very simple but I absolutely love that card so that is my share for you guys today and I'll see you in my next video bye